Today I'm going to show you how you can remote your computer to your TV and actually use your computer directly from your TV without having to spend a cent. So you won't need any Chromecast or any other device than your TV and your computer. To do this we're going to use Steam and the Steam Link app which is, should be available to almost any smart TV. If you already know what Steam is, you already have an account, you already have the client installed on your computer, you can skip on the next section of this video. If you don't know, just stick here, it's very fast, we're going to create an account and install the client, so we can cast our computer directly to our smart TV. First of all, head to Google and type Steam. You should get Welcome to Steam as the first link, just click there and there you are, this is the home page of Steam. So first of all we need to create an account. So we click on login and then join Steam. It's very simple, you just need your email, choose a username, password, they're not going to spam you, it's a big company, it's a serious company, so don't worry, just enter your email, agree and continue and follow the instruction to create the, the email, your profile. After that you just click on install on Steam and you download the client. Once the client is downloaded you click install, you follow the wizard, like any wizard you just click next without reading anything and once it's installed you just enter the credential of the account you just created. After the login process is completed, you should be welcomed by the Steam homepage, which should look something like this. Now we are almost done, so we need to move on our TV and we need to install the Steam Link app on our smart TV. I'm going to show you this on a Samsung TV, but I'm quite sure you can do it on any TV, as long as you can find the Steam Link app on your App Store. So go to the App Store of your TV in my case here, on this Samsung. Now, you need to find the Steam link. I could find it here. If you go to Content Preview and scroll down a bit, you will find the app just there at the bottom. There you go, the Steam link. So, hit Install and wait for the process to download and install the app. It's not a huge app, it shouldn't take long. There we are. Once you're done, you can open the Steam link on your TV and wait for it to load. Maybe you can see me. Now, you should see a list of the PC connected on your network where Steam is installed and it is recognized by the Steam link app. As you can see in my case, there is just one PC, Elite PC, and is the PC where I just show you I installed the client, the Steam client, the one we just installed. So hit enter, and you should be prompted with, uh, sorry for the video, with a code. What we need to do now is go back to the PC where we just installed the Steam client and enter this code. On your computer, you should find a window like this one that asks you for the authorization code. So type in the authorization code you just saw on your TV, in my case it's 8844, and hit OK. And that's it actually. This is actually the big picture mode, and it's the same thing we are looking at from our TV. So let's just go back to our TV and see what we can do from there. Now we are back on our TV and as you can see we can see the same window, the same display we were looking at from our computer. So here we can connect a mouse directly to the TV. Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yes, there's a mouse here. And with this mouse we can actually move the cursor. What we need to do is go back so hit the back arrow up on the top left and on this window, which is the big picture homepage, 
you click on the power button and then exit big picture once you clicked it you are back on your desktop as you can see this is the display of our computer so we can just start a video maybe a movie something like this now if you want a really flawless experience I suggest you connect both computer and TV through LAN cable to your router. Still, in my case, my computer is LAN cable to the router, but the TV is through Wi-Fi. And still the experience is almost perfect, flawless. So the videos is playing at real-time FPS, real-time frame, so everything is good. Just make sure that the connection is good between your computer and your router and from your router to your TV. And that's it. From here you can do anything you need directly with mouse and keyboard connected to your TV and you can control your computer. Hope you liked this video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.